Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Actions in PowerPoint let you apply actions to selected slide objects. Actions let presenters or viewers of the PowerPoint presentation perform the action associated with a slide object by clicking or moving their mouse pointer over the object. Common actions include linking to slides, web pages and email addresses, and running programs. You can add an action to any slide object, but actions are often associated with action buttons in slides. PowerPoint includes an Action Buttons Shape category that lets you insert commonly used buttons for navigation actions into a slide. To insert an Action Button Shape in PowerPoint if desired, click the Shapes drop-down button in the Illustrations button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon. Then click the Desired Action Button Face to insert in the Action Buttons category. Then click and drag over the area in the slide where you want the action button to appear to insert it. As soon as you insert an action button into a PowerPoint slide, the Action Settings dialog box appears. You use this dialog box to set the action to occur for the button. However, for most action buttons, the action is already programmed for you. There are only two events, or user actions, for which you can program actions. The first is mouse click, which is when the user clicks the button. The second is mouse over, which is when the user rolls their mouse pointer over the button. To program an action in PowerPoint if needed, click the tab that corresponds to the event for which you want the action to occur. Then on the selected tab, select the option button for the action to run when the user triggers the specified event. Then use the adjacent drop-down or field to select the hyperlink to which to navigate or program or file to open. Then click the OK button to apply the action. Alternatively, to manually apply an action to a selected slide object in PowerPoint, Select any slide object. Then click the Action button that appears in the Links button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon to open the Action Settings dialog box. Then select the Mouse Click or Mouse Over tab to select for which event or events to program actions for the selected object. Then on the selected tab, select the Option button for the action to run when the user triggers the specified event. Then use the adjacent drop-down or field to select the hyperlink to which to navigate or program or file to open. Then click the OK button to apply the action. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.